Um, so in 2001, we had the PS2, which which was in October. Um, Xbox, who I believe, was also in October or November. Um, and then GameCube as well. Um, out of those three, which was your favorite console release? And then the game with it. Honestly, the PS2 took that for me, mostly because... I mean, you take for granted the, the game releases that we have now, right? Because back then just straight garbage that was coming out from like the first first day on launch right i, I mean for the most part <laughs> okay 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 first off xbox we had halo and dead or alive 3 which take or leave it right at that point but with halo um and that was pretty much it like halo was the biggest the biggest one we had odd world which was a big hit but um halo i feel like carried that so hard for xbox so bad and then gamecube was a little weird we had sonic adventure battle which was cool we love that game and luigi's mansion crazy taxi super monkey ball i think luigi's mansion carried that launch as well i feel like right because that was like that one that was the only nintendo title right and two the only probably good nintendo title besides i mean obviously sonic yeah it was great but i mean i don't think it sold any like gangbusters right so here's my i think that the ps2 line i think the ps2 had like was the coolest console out of all those three in a sense like it was i don't i think the ps2 aged way better than all of those as far as like the, the kind of games we got um because if you look at the ps2's launch lineup it was armor core 2 that are live 2 midnight club street fighter tekken tag tournament time splitters and unreal tournament like that's not a big like, that's that's not a big lineup but that's not a bad lineup and in, in, in the sense of like what the ps2 had to offer right when it first came out would you agree um yeah it, i think it was just fine right I, okay. think, I think it was just fine for the most part uh, one thing i will give to xbox and sony was that at the time they had dvd players in them the gamecube did not so at the time when dvd was super popular like hey there's also we also have a, you can play dvds on this as well which was huge right a huge game changer like you i would i would uh, i would be on my ps2 for not just gaming right i'd be watching dvds and, and just having a good time with that and that was a huge game changer for the industry for sure yeah exactly and then like i know playstation had the ability to play cds like your music cds but like who wanted to listen to your music cd on a tv like no one wanted to do that That's i would funny. sometimes honestly really on your playstation you would i would play i would put it on while i'm cleaning my room or if i'm like doing something in my room i would just put that on you know instead of having like my my whole setup all right so out of these three which was your favorite um i mean midnight club come on like midnight club was but it's not midnight club favorite. three it's not midnight club three it's not it's you're right it's just the first one but that's what steered the midnight club series and and it, it was still a good game Midnight club was a great game um but i think the lineup for the ps2 was much more uh pleasant to to look at to to play to like you when you look at these three that would speak more to the general audience like unreal tournament was an, another one that was really cool because it was like one of the first like first person shooters that was using the epic engine right, right. and that was kind of like a game changing moment for for a lot of the gaming industries um but it, you know unreal is you know it's arguably an old title it reminds me of doom right it's like one of those like older titles but like a lot of people have like some type of sentimental like value to it and so tekken like you have these like really cool titles that are still very popular today you know what i mean yeah i i, I agree 100 percent with that i'm gonna say though launch title wise i think gamecube is the best i think GameCube I, I, the I thought you were gonna say xbox because again we, we talk about huge you know titles like halo like you said halo was a massive title halo was a game changing title for xbox and the industry in itself right so like you said that carried the whole entire xbox launch exactly um, like there's nothing here that even comes close i mean maybe project gotham racing was another racing game um but halo carried that was the best launch title i think right for for them and then gamecube i think had a better like all arounder right like you had louise mansion crazy taxi uh donald duck quack attack which i don't remember at all but sonic adventure 2 battle so you had like something for everyone like people liked 
Wave Race and Crazy Taxi, right? So I think it was very well rounded when it came to games, but I think Xbox had the best launch title, which was Halo. Um, I agree so. with that statement. I don't agree with the overall okay. launch lineup. I think PS2 took that for for me at least. All right. So Kelvin is going to take PS2, and I'm going to take GameCube, and I think the best launch title was uh, Halo. Yeah, hundred percent. We're going to fast forward to 2006. <laughs> Do you like how I did that? Um, to PS3, um, Xbox One, and was it Xbox One? No, Xbox 360. Oh my God, I completely forgot about Xbox 360. Yeah, Xbox 360 and uh, the Wii, which was everyone kind of like took like a weird turn when it came to, to doing this. Um, I know your answer already. I already know it. Uh, can you please tell the audience like your PS3 like launch day excitement slash your day? Like tell me your day, how, how it went, because I think that tells the story. That, it was a very interesting day. I was very sick. I had like low sodium and I was in bed for like days, right? I didn't go to school. I didn't go to whatever. I was just like completely in bed, but I was still very you're in high school at this point, right? You're high school. Yes, I was in high school, but I was still very, um, I, I tried my hardest to try to get this PS3. Obviously, if you guys remember, the PS3 was very hard to come by. It was um, out of stock, and people were just like getting that. You no, know, and also I think there was short shortage in the uh, in, in that part as well. So um, a lot of factors into it. But I kept calling my GameSpot every single day, right? Even when I was in my deathbed, you know what I mean? And I called them, and one day they're like, "Yeah, we have like two in stock," and I couldn't do it. I couldn't drive, right? Um, so I asked my mom to do it and sure enough, mom wow. came in clutch. She wow. came, she, she came back. She didn't have anything in her hands. So I thought she like, it, it was sold out, but of course she was playing tricks on me and she had it in the, in the back of her, um, in the trunk. So she went and grabbed it and I just lost my fucking mind. I instantly felt better. I was a hundred percent better. I was cured. Um, and yeah, it was a, it was a day. It was a, a day for me for sure. I thought you went and got it yourself. Like you went, you waited oh. in line and you got it. You were sick. Your mom actually had to get it for you. And people were, and this was back when like you couldn't pre-order anything. It was just like, you had to wait in line when it came out. And then if you exactly. got it, you got it. Like, exactly. That was yeah. Incredible. So that was a moment because it was one of my, and, and that, that was also a big one for me because that was the first console that I purchased myself. It was expensive as fuck, right? It was six hundred dollars. It's console, still expensive right? nowadays. Like that's insane. Yeah. Like back then, geez. but that was my hard earned money that I did. Like obviously the PS2 and, and and everything else that I've earned prior to that. It was you know my mom helping me out because we were young. We didn't have jobs, but right. that was like my hard earned cash that I paid for myself. So, and not to mention you also bought because 1080p gaming was like this was the first time we had it. You bought a 1080p. Uh, TV with it, a flat screen TV, right? I did, yeah. I don't remember when. I think it was a little bit prior to the PS3, so I was like ready for it. But yes, yep, I did. That's um, awesome. And then, so the lineup for PS3, man, like low key has a special place in my heart because I'm gonna say Res Resistance Fall of Man was like the best game for a launcher in quite some time, you know. Um, and then Mortar Storm was one of those big ones that you would always see in like Target, Walmart, like as a showcase. Cause it was right. like graphic heavy. It was really nice. Um, the way they, they showed the, the cars and how graphics were kind of like starting to come. Uh, so those two games like instantly stick out to me. So this is my, regardless of what 360 had, regardless of what, uh, Wait. this is, this is me. Yeah. This is for me for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I ended up getting a 360 instead of the PS3. I do remember that. That's kind of like where me and you, yeah, that's when me and you kind of like divide up and I became a little bit of an Xbox fanboy and you became. That's where it all more, started. Yeah. That's where it all started. Yeah. I remember I got the 20 gig uh, Xbox 360. Um, mm -hmm. And I believe the first game I got it was Cameo. Um, remember yeah. that game? Yep. Yeah. So that another, came out. Another uh, Xbox or another like, you know, Walmart showcase, Target showcase game exactly and i remember the launch lineup was okay i mean we had cameo you had perfect dark zero but you had a lot of ports from xbox like you had gun you had um call of duty 2 so there was a lot of ports where i feel like the ps3 didn't have a ton like they had some ports but a lot like at least three of the games were like brand new games that would never never came out before um so i'm gonna give it points there and i think the ps3 was just a cooler console at, at the time it was you know had a bunch of like 
different things like SD card slots where the 360 was kind of like a little on the bare bone side. Um, but again, it was cheaper. It was a lot cheaper than um, the, the PS3. Um, but that was the first like our intro into gaming where HDMI was like first coming out, right? It was, it was a wild time. Um, and then you had the Wii, which was like so like left field, right? Like if you were a hardcore gamer, you're like, I'm not touching that thing, right? And I think that's what it was. We were hardcore, we were hardcore gamers at the time. So that's why we didn't really touch the Wii. Um, but the Wii had one game and it likes to do this. And that game was, you know what it was? What was it? I don't, I don't know. Zelda? Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's what it was. Um, and I think what might have hurt it, like for me, look like, why that like it's not enough for that game to carry it was because they also ported it on the GameCube. So you could also get it for the GameCube and the graphics weren't that much of a difference to me. Um, I'll give the Wii points because it was cool. It was different because you had the motion controls and everyone wanted to try one, right? But like, again, it's like one of those things where like, was it, is it truly really next gen? The graphics kind of look similar to like, I don't even think the Wii could do 1080. I think it only did 720, right? I think so. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't think it, it, it Nintendo was always a step behind, so I don't think they they were in the 1080p era. And um, I remember you always had to mess with that. Remember that motion bar? Oh, I forgot about that. There was yeah, a bar. I remember that thing. That thing sucks. Yeah. Th this was uh, a high point and a low point in the gaming industry, right? Because we had great hardware out there with the PS3 and, and the Xbox 360. And then the Wii did something different. The Wii was able to really grab the the just the, the normal audience out there, right? Like they, they were just able to grab like the grandmas and the, and the Joes and the, the Timothys that don't play games out there. And they're just like, oh, like this is really cool. Like I, I actually like playing games. So it grabbed that audience that we, the, or like the gaming industry just never really grasped. Like they would always get like the hardcore audience. You would have PS2 fans, you would have Xbox fans and they would play these games for the most part, but then never having like parents play games with you right like these like really cool games that you're able to just you know bring back and forth with your parents and just play a game so this is the cool part about the wii but everything else was just shovelware for the most part and don't, don't get me wrong nintendo came out with some really awesome games for the wii right um but for the most part it just and it's so stupid right it was like a, a, something that I was just like holy shit like how is this selling so well but it, it just felt odd you know coming from nintendo but i guess it makes sense i don't know right and i think the coolest part about the wii was that it was backwards compatible with the gamecube and it even had like the little ports on top for the GameCube yeah. controllers which was like like no you're not sacrificing your ability to but it wasn't as next gen as like the other ones kind of felt in a sense like always as always um they didn't even have hdmi and i again i look at the launch title and like the only things that are popping out to me was wii sports and legend of zelda but again legend of zelda was able available on the gamecube right and you didn't have to use the most controls if you didn't want it you want to use them but like on the wii you had to use it so i think i'm also going to give it to ps3 when it comes to i don't i think the the, the pricing was was screwy oh, i think yeah. the pricing yeah. was was the worst part about it but i think it had the coolest launch and resistance fall of man felt like an actual next gen shooter um so we'll give that one to sony Plus, we both you can't forget the whole like the meme started because of Ridge Racer, right? Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. Like, that was just a, th a thing that just happened all the time. And now you see that in memes because of Ridge Racer. And, you know, it was just a funny thing that happened. Like, PS3's launch was catastrophic in a sense because yeah. <laughs> although they had great, they had decent games, the price point killed it. And just the, the way Sony portrayed themselves, they were just very cocky and no it, it wasn't it wasn't a good time for sony so they had it they it took a long time for them to like really get back on their feet towards the end of the of the life cycle for the ps3 and it ended up benefiting them but it was a rocky start in the beginning yeah and it was it was super expensive because not only did you have to buy the ps3 itself but you also had to buy an hd tv if you really want it. and those were expensive at the time too they were like 400 bucks at least right at, at the minimum yep. so um you're looking at over a thousand dollars just to get your foot in the door to have like this next gen experience Whereas you buy a Wii and it already just connects to your TV and you can like play motion controls on your TV and it felt more revolutionary. And I think that's why it won that console war in a sense, because it was just 
the entry point was so easy, which is what Nintendo today does, right? They From the Wii, they started like, we're gonna give you such an easy entry point into this that it's hard for you to say no to. Um, and then EA, uh, I mean, you let's let's talk about Fight Night Round Three. I was a huge Fight Night Round fan, uh, Fight Night Round Three fan when it first came out too. I right. love again the graphics. That was another showcase title. It just it looked gorgeous, and a lot of people slept on Def Jam. Def Jam was awesome. Def Jam, yeah. if you know, you know. Def Jam was a really cool game because it had like these hip hop uh, artists that just you know battled du duked each other out, and it was like a really fun kind of a, a fighter, like a just like a or like you know just like a street fighter kind of thing. Not street fighter, literally, but like um, it just felt it was a fun game to play. So yeah, they had some some small gems here, honestly. For sure. And one last thing to know about this generation, this was kind of Sony's like fall from grace in a sense. Uh, PS2 was super popular, but then PS3 came out. Not a lot, as many people vibe with it. Um, this is where Xbox really sh shone because just the 360 was just that much more of an accessible console. Um, it was cheaper and develop it was developer friendly, like more developers wanted to, to work with that one versus the PS3 architecture was not as fun. Um, and then Nintendo, this is Nintendo being like, we're doing our own thing. Leave us alone right just like this is where it begins now we shift into ps4 xbox one era and the wii u era so tell me out of these three which one was your favorite launch and then the game that you like the most um ps4 was weird with me i felt like there wasn't <laughs> anything i wanted to play again okay I've, ever since the ps3 i was always buying my systems day one right 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 and so i got a ps4 day one i didn't know what to buy right obviously the only thing that really like stuck out to me was Killzone. um but even then that game was a showcase as far as graphics wise right it was a beautiful right. game exactly that's all it really had right and i, and I think i i even not forced you but i i convinced you to buy a ps4 and buy Killzone. And you just were, was not vibing with it, right? It was not a game for you. You just didn't really like the multiplayer. It just didn't have, what, especially now with like Halo out there, like it just didn't feel like a great game to to play and hang out with your friends, right? For sure. I mean, the, the PS4 actually, this is the time where they actually changed their controller, which was like, I feel like a big, like they had the same controller for years and years and years of DualShock. And then they finally came out with the DualShock. Was it called the DualShock? I don't remember if it was called the DualShock, but uh, the new iteration of their controller, um, which actually had like the touchpad and stuff like that on top of it. So um, I think, and it looked sleek, right? I think that was a big thing. It like looked a lot better and like, hey, like this is going to like actually um, not be like this weird architecture like we had on the, the PS3. This is going to be a normal console. And uh, yeah, and we learn find out that that's where they're starting to get back up right this is their 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 swan song in a sense of of we're back um so i would say yeah same thing i mean killzone shadowfall was fine it wasn't like the greatest game ever um call of duty ghost was was good like i, I enjoyed that game um as a multiplayer game on my ps4 i think that was fun um but if we look at xbox series one the, they kind of did the sony thing for ps3 where like they charged too much for the thing i think it was 500 bucks for it and you had to get the connect with it remember you had yeah, to it that was came. another catastrophic launch yeah so yeah. to me, I'm like, dude, what if I don't want to use this connect? Like they like took like, well, you know, the Wii, they did that like years ago and it worked really well. So why don't we like combine the two with like high graphic infidelity and give you some motion controls? Um, and people were just like, no, I don't want to spend this much. And I think this was like at a time too, where like there was a, it wasn't like a great time. I think it was a, uh, like an economic fucking recession or something like that. So, um, and I, I'm looking at the, the, the games for it and it's just again you have assassin's creed black flag which is xbox 360 you had call of duty ghost uh you have crimson dragon you have for okay forza is probably the high point here motorsports for sure motorsport, yeah right? forza motorsport 5 i think that was and killer instinct was pretty cool too um and then assassin's creed black flag was a good one too like is it is that from no that that's P yeah exactly so that's that, that game yeah it was a launch port. title damn a, or it was a port right yeah a port. okay so that sucks but it's still a great game nonetheless so they had decent games it just wasn't anything like oh my god should i buy this day one right yeah i think out of these three and we'll talk about wii u in a sec i think these were like the worst launch titles in like a long time i think the launch titles were really bad for this for this um 
to this this segment. I mean, and then Wii U, and no one knew what the Wii U even was. They were like, what is it? Yo, I'm like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Like, what is it? I don't understand. What is this black box? Like, I have no idea. There's two things. Like, what? It doesn't make sense. Um, But I think Xbox, in my opinion, still takes it. I mean, we can go through Wii U's lineup in a second here. Um, But I think Xbox takes it, in my opinion, because of uh, Battlefield 4, because of uh, Motorsports, which is the big highlight here and then killer instinct was you know it's, it's a decent game as well um it just sucks that it had to kind of be pushed away from all this whole connect talk that it, it really rubbed people the wrong way i think yeah i think too if there was no connects attached to it would have been 100 percent fine you know what i mean like it would have been a-okay and everyone would have been happy right for the most part um so yeah and then we you had like they had a Mario game, right? They had the Super Mario World um, Wii U, which was fine, yeah, I think, yep. right? But there's no no Zelda, right? You need yep. kind of need they kind of go hand in hand with each other sometimes, right? With like being a launch title with uh, you need you need a system seller, which that's what exactly. it was. Um, I will also give this one to Xbox. Um, I don't no, I'm gonna say I liked PS4 better. I think PS4 was better um, because if we're talking was, the release, like how the release went about, the PS4, yeah, the console, yeah. then yeah, PS4 for sure. But if we're talking game wise, the the catalog of games, I think Xbox took that. Yeah, definitely a low point when it came to launch titles uh, for these guys for sure. Um, what I think one of the least hype console releases in my opinion, um, in my opinion. And now we're not going to talk about the PS PS. Uh, Four Pro or the Xbox One S. Um, we're not going to talk about those because, or what a One X. I don't remember the name of it. It's just I hate their names for Xbox. Um, we're going to go into our current generation right now that we have. Right. Um, we'll start with the Switch because that one's a weird. I feel like an in between one. Mm, right. Yeah. Yeah. Released in March of 2017. Wow. Yeah, it's old. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right and it's competing right now with ps5 isn't that crazy to me? isn't that crazy that it's still competing with the ps5 and Xbox it is Series X? because it's to me it doesn't feel like a old hardware I, I know a lot of people do say that because of what is inside but i boot that thing up and it it runs Works. super smooth it plays my game in like this like seconds like i don't have an issue with it obviously when it comes to spec wise it, it's outdated for sure but you don't really see that because of nintendo quality ca- uh, games right so i don't ever, like when i was playing tears of the kingdom i didn't i was like man i sure wish i could you know see this i you know link's hair like in more detail like i that's not something that i'm thinking about you know yeah and obviously the launch title for that one was legend of breath of the wild like again that one is the same thing as the twilight princess right where it came out for the wii u um but I think this was a console seller, right? Like people were like, I want to experience it on a new console um, and try it out. And people were, I, I'll be honest with you, people were kind of already sick of the Wii U. They were like, I hate this thing, this thing sucks. Um, let's get something else. So again, the the games weren't anything crazy, except for if if Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild did not come out for the Switch, it was not launched. That launch title, would, that launch title sucks. Like if you look at it here, like World well, of Blue, Little Inferno, Sniper Clips. Yeah. Um, it's not good. I mean, if Shovel Knight one two switch, Just Dance, which was like people like that, I guess. Um, and then we have recently Xbox Series X and PS Five. This is where it gets interesting. Talk about PS Five a little bit, Kelf. PS Five. I I don't know. I think again, it's it's one of those where like they have like this one gem, right? And I think that for me was uh miles morales right i think that's that came out hand in hand with ps5 um and that was one of my highlights because that was a one of my favorite games of the generation right now it's just such a fun game and it's such a small kind of like bite-sized game that you've played from the the first one right um spider-man game for ps4 and so it was just nice to get back into that game and then just kind of experience it from miles morales's eyes um, and then you have other games like Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, which is a nice touch there. Um, it's it's a port, but whatever. But everything else, honestly, I mean, Demon Souls, obviously, that's another huge one. I, I, I didn't, it didn't really speak to me. I played it. I tried it. I couldn't really get into it. But those were two big ones, Demon Souls and Miles Morales. 
and so uh, you know they they had a decent amount and then like sack boy was another one that people liked but uh the pathless uh, they had some stuff there i just don't know it's it's better than the ps4 that's what i would say 100 percent, 100 percent. it's better than the ps4 and they also gave you a free game with it as well with astro's playroom which technically right like, that's right you yeah. have to use the new duels and it would get a new controller um and this thing is insanely fast they give you two price points which was four hundred dollars and five hundred dollars um you couldn't get it really at launch because it was like it was again the pandemic happened and it was hard but i think from like a launch and the titles you get at launch very solid very very yeah. very no, solid. i agree I, I think you're right especially when you're able to cross gen games like fortnite right like if you're able to play fortnite one of the biggest games of all time and just play that day one on your new console like that's that's great if you're into fortnite that's a huge win right um yeah and then astro's playroom like you said i forgot about that so thank you for bringing that up but that's a phenomenal game it's it, it's a more of a tech demo sort of in a sense but it was a great game it was like a really fun game and you can obviously test out the dual sense and but everything about it just brought back memories if you were a playstation fan it, and it was it was done it was done well it was done well for sure and i'll bring up xbox series x and i'm gonna get hate for this because i know it will um but weak everything here is kind of weak right and they did a confusing thing where like it was pretty expensive it was 500 bucks for it right and um it, it it launched alongside the series um s right like the xbox series s and it was kind of confusing to people right um the name man the name just doesn't really make sense right and I then when people they went that way. and then as soon as like people see it and they're like memeing that it's like it looks like a refrigerator that's not oh. good right like yeah. that tells you that the, the design is like uh, it's not that great like and the launch titles suck like you have deadlight dead by daylight assassin's creed valhalla which isn't really a launch it's a port of a, of a game uh dirt 5 yakuza gears 5 series x upgrade it's not a launch title it's just saying that it runs better um so to me very weak launch lineup very weak launch um i think the psv had the best i think the ps5 had the best launch best oh, launch yeah. best titles 100 percent. yeah 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 i mean you can't beat miles morales you can't beat like games that so like first party titles games right like that xbox didn't really have you know they had gears 5 but again like you said it was an upgrade it, there wasn't anything there for the audience and honestly they've struggled with that till now you know and that's that's the big conversation that we have over and over with xbox and playstation but they just don't have the titles right now um, so it was good that Sony had that day one to like really showcase, hey, this is a PS5. You can get this day one. Have fun. Yeah, for sure. And I think if you look now like this, look how ridiculous the Switch is now. The Switch is still running and we just played like probably the game of the year. Tears of the Kingdom on it. And this thing's so old. Like the PS3 like came out like three years after the Switch came out. So that's wild to me that it's still like we're even having a conversation about it. Mm hmm. Um, but I I'm thought gonna... Mario came out day one as well, but it didn't. It came out in August, in October. No, it but didn't. For some reason, I thought they were hand in hand. No, Maybe it was it's Zelda that sold it. Like that's a, how strong. Like your hardware needs to be good, but your software, I feel like, needs to be even stronger. Yep, for sure. So, oh, yeah. um, we agree. I guess. I mean, yours, all three were. I think were Sony's. So yeah. that makes sense, right? Right. Um, it's, but for it good sucks reason. Because I'm like, I don't want to sound like a, a fanboy, but like, if if you break it down like this, I mean, obviously everyone has their opinions, right? Um, but in my opinion, that that that's just what I gravitated more towards, right? Like Sony titles, and then seeing what Sony had in store for each generation, I was interested in that as opposed to whatever Microsoft, whatever Nintendo was, you know showing so i agree with you i agree with you. i think sony like as a whole always has amazing launches for the most part um nintendo i say it was close second then xbox is kind of weird like they can kind of shift from second to third but um i think we learned that playstation knows how to do launches for the most part minus ps ps3 was very weird ps3 was a very weird but they learned from that they were like okay we're not gonna do it again that's we're done with that and then when xbox came out with the series um xbox one they reverted it was weird they like like went like try to do the thing with the wii and i was like it's it's too it's it's too far gone we're done with that yeah so, too late for that too late for that um that's it guys that's the you know that's our in-game chat um anything else Kelvin, before we head out follow us on our socials that'd be great um definitely check us out on the gamingduopod.com 
you can find all our videos you can find um all our audios um and then some little cool stuff there that we do as well on social so definitely check that out um and yeah that's it